Today, let's talk about the low-fat milk, one of the milk types that we use in our coffee shop to make an amazing cup of coffee for our customers. Many customers love it because it contains less amount of fats in it, but it's also the most challenging milk when it comes to creating a perfect and consistent latte art on your cup of coffee. As a barista, I've had many people complain, whether baristas or customers, why they can't have a perfect and consistent latte art on their cup of coffee using the low-fat milk. Even me as a barista, it took me a very long time to overcome this challenge. Every time that I used the low-fat milk, my latte art wasn't consistent until I discovered the difference between the low-fat and the full-fat milk. Every time that I used the full-fat milk, my latte art was perfect, but the low fat, I had a challenge. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most important thing that you must know and the main reason why your latte art is not perfect every time that you use the low fat milk. In a coffee shop, we have two types of the dairy milks. We have the full fat milk and the low fat milk. The full fat milk has the right percentage of fats. It has 12% amount of fats in it which is perfect for creating that perfect milk texture when we are steaming our milk but also creating that amazing latte art for the low fat milk it has less amount of fats in it it has four percent amount of fats in it in some coffee shops they substitute the low fat milk for the skimmed milk low fat milk and the skimmed milk these two types of milk are slightly similar to each other because they both contain less amount of fats in them which is a challenge when it comes to steaming our milk and creating a good latte art when we are steaming our milk we have two key steps that we follow the first key step is injecting in our air into our milk so that we can create the microphone the second key step this is the most important one because we are creating that perfect milk texture which is going to enable us create an amazing latte art so when we are creating this perfect milk texture, this is where the fats in the milk plays a very big role because it joins together with the proteins and the micro bubbles which were injected in in our first process to create that perfect milk texture. When we are steaming it and also creating an amazing latte at on our cup of coffee. For our low fat, since it has less amount of fats in it, it is going to be challenging when you're creating that texture because it has less amount of fats. The microfoam that you're going to have on a low fat milk is going to be foamy and very heavy. It's going to be challenging when you're creating perfect latte art on your cup of coffee. So as you can see the difference between these two types of coffees, the low fat milk, the latte art is not very clear as for the full fat. Because I'm a professional barista and I often use the low fat milk, this is why I can be able to create this decent latte art on my cup of coffee. But if you're using a skim milk, this is going to be more challenging and you won't be able to create such latte art on your cup of coffee. Because for the skim milk, it has even less amount of fats in it. And if you're a beginner barista, it's going to be more challenging if you're using the low fat milk. So you should keep in mind, if you're a barista and you find it hard to steam your milk with the low fat milk, you need to constantly practice and improve by time. But make sure you shouldn't discourage yourself every time that you can't be able to create a good latte art using the low fat milk because it's one of the challenges most of us face. If you want a full guide on how you can steam your milk and create a good latte art on your cup of coffee, check out this video next it's very important it gives you the basic knowledge that is going to enable you learn and master the skill of steaming your milk so that you can advance from only not only steaming the full fat but also steaming the low fat and creating an amazing latte art